So here is the completed table. I made this for a friend at work and uh, he's a bit of a, a gearhead or an automotive fan. He has his own custom speed limit sign which is uh, more than likely illegal but uh, the company that I had it printed from and uh, you can actually order your own street sign I didn't know that uh, called me up and said are you sure you wanted that to be a minimum speed so uh, I just had to explain to them what I was using the sign for and the fact that it wouldn't be posted on a public street the table itself the legs um, I made a poplar that I stained to match some furniture in his house and it's tough to see, yeah, you can see a little better on this side. The uh, mortise and tenon joints are actually pinned with brass dowels. A little bit of a reinforcement there because there is quite a bit of load on this thing. The uh, actual tabletop itself is suspended. So there's nothing physically attaching it to the legs. You can see it moves a little bit. The way it's supported, if we sit down and look at this other stuff down here, is uh, an aluminum plate one-eighth of an inch thick that's mounted underneath there and under those copper pipes is a quarter inch steel rod. The uh, one new thing I got to try out on this project that I'd read quite a bit about you can see in a, an aluminum channel attached to the bottom there that aluminum channel is actually attached with 3M VHB very high bond uh, double-sided tape and uh, it's, a, it's interesting that it uh, pretty much is the functional equivalent of a rivet, a bolt, or even TIG welding. So you can attach things without damaging. I didn't want to damage the sign side. There's no penetrations or holes up there. Amazing stuff. It, uh, I was a little worried because it wasn't terribly sticky when I first put it on. But after you let it cure for three days in a very warm environment, it, uh, it's amazing. It, uh, <laughs> I couldn't pull it off. And it's a, it is very difficult to remove. So the actual top itself is supported on these pulleys that I've anchored into the side. And I had to, hard to see here, maybe on this side it's a little easier. I had to actually notch off those corners so they'd be flat facing the inside of the um, table. And those are stainless steel and aluminum pulleys that guide the thread the cable. And the cable I put on to turnbuckles and that allows you to actually uh, level the bottom table. And this bottom table is really a place you could put magazines or anything you wanted to, but we kind of went ahead and gave it an automotive theme so you can kind of see that's the clutch plate from a 350 Chevy, some old wrenches, and some uh, license plates. So that's actually removable. This uh, top plate, which is a quarter inch acrylic Lexan, comes off. Uh, and you can put whatever you want in there. The bottom of it actually has, well, if you can see that, it's a quarter inch steel plate, 12 by 12, weighs about 20 pounds, and it's on there just strictly to provide some counterweight to make this thing heavy. Um, one other request I got that kind of changed the design up midstream, I was gonna have this set of cables come straight across and attach with a turnbuckle, but uh, the customer wanted a light to downlight the table, which I actually thought was a pretty good idea. So hidden underneath there is a light. So in the evening she'll have something you can uh, light up the bottom and see what's in there. So that's the latest and greatest. Uh, another crazy table by Lou. Uh, I think this one's going to be popular. I actually don't want to give it away, so uh, I suspect there might be one in my future too. Take care. Bye.